Okay, I'm starting to test a uh, secondary on my stubble field coil. And um, I don't have a lot of wire for my secondary. Right now I only have about 75 feet or so of some magnet wire that I had left over. I obviously need to order more of that and get um, hundreds, if not a thousand, turns on this or more. But it's uh, already encouraging. It does generate uh, current on the secondary. I'll give a quick breakdown of what I've done with the coil here. I have it mounted upside down. So I have all the wire uh, terminals exiting out the bottom. So it's a little more clean. It's not such a mess. Um, this is my magnetic make and break switch motor. I have two reed switches now positioned uh, in such a way that they run the motor very nicely. It gets up to speed. I'll go ahead and stop the motor and see if I can get this uh, multimeter here where you can see both of them at once. What's interesting is the current definitely climbs uh, come on, just balance. There we go. So you, you can see the current here building as the coil speeds up. It's on the, uh, the milliamp setting right now but as this coil make and break switch motor gains speed you see we're up to three milliamps and it's uh, gaining so that's of course the effect that that we're after I have had this little motor running continuously for weeks on end now in one form or another we're up to over four milliamps now I really can't read the milliamps and the voltage very accurately with this little multimeter. But I do expect as I get more um, magnet wire wrapped on this coil, I expect to start using, start getting some really usable current off of this. So anyway, that's where I'm at with this little device. It's uh, really nice to have it built in such a way now that it's uh, portable and I don't have to stop it. I can walk around and move it and take it to different locations without having to retune it every time. I'm using uh, aluminum wire coming up to the reed switches. Um, I've had questions about reed switches and which type of reed switch to use. In my experience it doesn't really matter. I've, this thing has worked with any reed switch. I have also had questions on what kind of magnets I'm using in the magnet motor. Again, I've used every kind of magnet I own and they all seem to work. It's just a matter of uh, tuning it to, to the best tuning to get the best uh, speed. So anyway, it's pretty simple. If you follow Stubblefield's patent, it ought to work without any trouble at all. So it's definitely a, a really nice fun gizmo to have just up in your house running away. It's definitely a good conversation starter.